So, how exciting is this? Mr. Fantastic Taxon has managed to locate the little Nkahuma cubs. So, it seems as though the adults aren't around, but I'm just checking Hippo Pools Road because this is where we had some of the tracks uh, heading north out of our traverse this morning. So, just double checking uh, that, uh, well, that they haven't come back and maybe we've missed them so we'll go into this lion sighting we'll have a quick look the cubs are on their own i don't want to get too close and i don't want to stay for too long because some of them are still a little bit young but we'll see what it's like we'll have a little look and uh, we'll make a decision from there of course of course the safety of those lion cubs is the most important but we're almost there Oh, right. Oh, I'm just quickly listening to the... I'm just quickly listening to the radio. Tax, sorry, can you repeat your message again, please? Okay, so apparently Tax has just said they're the little cubs. He said he's heard something distress and all the little ones are now running this way. You can see the little cubs. Okay, we're going to have to keep going. We're going to need to try and follow these, these cubs. So I apologize. I'm going to let Taxon go in first because he knows where those al that alarm call, that distress call was coming from. And then we will follow him. But the cubs, hey, hey. The cubs are just running through the bushes in front of us. I don't know if we'll get a view. They're going to the to the right of us. There's a little cub. You just saw it just dashing away. Uh, okay, there they go. There they go. There they are. Okay, let's get a move on though. We're gonna have to keep going. Hopefully they're not gonna cross off of the, the boundary. Well. So we've come across, it looks like this is amber eyes, and they've killed, I think they've killed an Inyala, the mother, and I think that they've killed the little baby, which you can see this lioness feeding on. Oh, have a listen, have a listen. Now, of course, this is very sad. I know it's quite sensitive, and this is one of those things, unfortunately, but these lions need to feed as well. And like I said, the leopards, the lions are gonna be taking an opportunity of all the babies at the moment. I can't see how many more adults are here. We can just hear a lot of commotion from the cubs. What I think I might do is maybe we'll go forward. Let's go forward. Okay, let's go forward. So we're gonna change a view here. You can obviously see these little cubs are now fighting over, which I presume is the mother in Yala. It's a bit hard to see at the moment with all the commotion and all the, the trees that are surrounding us. But one thing is for certain is that I'm sure you are all happy that they've moved off of the buffalo now, which we know hasn't had the greatest quality of meat and at least feeding on something else, which means the survival of these cubs is just that much more better. It's amazing though how the 
adults have captured these in Yala. But look how they've let the little ones though have a feed too. And Amber Eyes took the young in Yala lamb all for herself and left these six to fight over the rest. Isn't this absolutely incredible? We might have a bit of a, a dispute happening. We'll see what's going to happen. As one of the other lionesses has moved around towards Amber Eyes now. Hello, Sierra, who's a new viewer. Welcome and well, what a day to be watching. Isn't this fantastic? Now, you are wondering, because they're in a pack, does this mean that they are related? You're, you're quite right there. Look at them. Oh my goodness, all fighting over that Sierra. I'll get back to your question. Look at the claws coming out now. Now the adults having a bit of a squabble. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at those claws coming out. That must be sore. And this is it. This is it. Survival of the fittest. You've got to fight for every scrap that you can get. There we go. That's a clever little cub who's outmaneuvered its siblings. And there we go. Ooh. Now we're going to hear the whining. Now these territorial disputes between these lions are very, very common, especially around food and especially over something so small. You can imagine this is really just a taster for these lions. It looks as though all six cubs are here. I haven't been able to see how many lionesses are here. I think I've counted four. So I think we could still be missing one more lioness. Maybe she's still making her way back from Simbambili. Oh, sorry, Sierra, I'll get back to your question now that it seems to have quietened down a little bit. Isn't this so exciting? It was so loud at one point, I couldn't even hear what Kirsty was saying into my ear. Now, you said we were asking, sorry, if because they're in a pack, if they are all related, and you are quite right. Mm -hmm. Most likely the lionesses are related somehow, whether mother, daughters, or sort of half half sisters from each other, or maybe one is joined up from another pride. Oh, there's my favorite little girl. And that's typically what happens, is a pride consists of a group of females that are closely related, and the females will stay in the pride. And the males, when they reach about two and a half years or so, they normally get chased out. Now, this is gonna be interesting. They're moving around towards Amber Eyes. And she's got that Inyala lamb. It's, it's a very difficult view, unfortunately. But what we will do is we'll just watch their interaction because as we know, these cubs are very brave and I think that they're gonna get into a bit of trouble. So let's watch the next scenario play out. Letting them know she's not happy with them, approaching her. Okay, here comes the first one. Making a very brave attempt. Oh, floppy, yeah, you be careful, girl. <laughs> it, 
doesn't even surprise me that it is young Floppy Ear who's trying to make a move in. We know how feisty she is. Now this is a quite a difficult sighting, unfortunately it is very, very thick in here. And we don't want to move around too much because I don't want to make them feel like they are trapped. Like I said, it's very, very dense. But it seems as though the little cubs have understood Amber Eyes' warning very clearly. And keeping a distance. I think it was Amber Eyes when I had a look at her. Let's see if we can get a look. The eyes did look a lot darker. Looks like, doesn't it? But I could be mistaken, but we'll just have to wait and see until we get another good view. And it seems as though the cubs have gone back to the other side now to see if they can find any of the scraps that are perhaps a left over. Okay, we're going to reposition. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in front of Taxon so Taxon can reverse. So let's do that very quickly. A little view here. There we go. Now they're all settling down a little bit more, seeking refuge from one of the lionesses. And isn't that just amazing? how they're able to go from quarreling and biting each other, claws out and in their face, to all being friends at the end of the day. Here we go, getting a good groom. Now, now Larry, you were wondering if I think that they were establishing dominance over one another, especially the young cubs, I have to agree. That was definitely what was going on. And size does matter because you become you're a little bit bigger. And of course, then you might be a little bit stronger than your siblings, which helps. But sometimes it's all about the brains as well. Who can outmaneuver who? And I think that's what happened with one of the little cubs. It was able to make a sneaky move, grab the head of the Inyala, and then obviously run to the side and munch away before everybody else could get tucked in. Isn't this amazing that we were able to get you just at the right time?